what's this, guys? <laughs> this is a candle cover for a candle. Guess what we're gonna make out of this? You got it, skimmer. All right, so let's get right into it. The skimmer. It's actually not a hockey puck. It's a large rubber stopper, and this is gonna become the top of my skimmer. I'm drilling a half inch inside diameter hole a little bit off center. <laughs> is not staying on the floor guys the tank will be going up here I'm gonna put the six gallon on the floor temporarily computer will go over here the 75 gallon will go up on the table and then all the contents from the six gallon and the 20 gallon will go in the 75 this is a pex elbow half inch I'm going to use this in the top of the skimmer for the schemate collection hose. See, there you go. I'm gonna drill a small hole for this. This is gonna get a stone on the end. See what I'm talking about? If you haven't figured it out yet, I've stolen my idea from reef glass. I have to cut the length on here a little, and then I'll put the stone right in here. All that a skimmer does is it fractionates the water, makes foam, and that lifts out undissolved compounds and organics from the water before they break down. So the principle is just to get that out of the water and all you need is a glass tube contained foam fractionation and a way to remove it. What I wanna do here is mark exactly where I have to cut this. Here's the air stone, and I want that to be about an inch away from the bottom, half inch maybe, so that's gonna be there. The rigid tube will come inside this hose to there, so that's my cut mark. This is two and a half inch diameter, inside diameter. So I'm thinking this stone will create enough fractionation in here so it'll come up to the top. These are just heater clamps with suction cups on there. So I'm gonna tom reefer these and use the suction cup and a piece of the clamp to connect to the skimmer so I can connect it to the glass. So you can see what I have here. It's just a flat piece that I can put the suction cup back on and then silicone it to the glass tube. It's Monday morning. I just put the few extra pieces of live rock in that I'll be adding along with the other contents of the 20 and the six. I put a 65K fluorescent bulb on it. And there you can see the skimmer in its temporary position that I'm explaining to you today. That's going to be over here. I just set this up to hold it steady. I'm going to silicone this one down here. Putting it on there kind of liberal because I don't want it to come off, but I know this silicone is awesome. So now I'll push this down in it. And I'm down here, down below. This has really cleared up. I put a little carbon in it, a little bag of carbon right there in the overflow on top of the floss and it's really cleared up. Just a few hours a day, I'll increase slowly. I don't want this to go crazy with algae before I empty it. Here's the first phosphate test once I put the live rock into the 75 gallon. Right, this is the new location for the skimmer. So I just retrofitted these suction cups right on the side like I showed you before. That way it keeps it an equal amount of distance away from the glass, perfectly vertical. I've talked about this before in my videos. The best placement for your skimmer is as close to the overflow as possible. That way all your undissolved organics hit the skimmer before going into the rest of your sump. 
and this is the new one, so it's not creating a lot of foam yet. I just plugged it in. Here's the one I had in the other location. So you can see that it collected quite a bit of schemate, and all I had was those few pieces of live rock in there. So it's gonna do the job. You know how skimmers can sometimes be difficult in tweaking them to get the right amount of foam? Well, what makes this setup nice is because I can control the amount of air that goes into the air stone. Therefore, it will control the amount of foam fractionation. Now watch. See, I'm just turning it a little bit and then I'll turn it back. I can tweak this to get it just where I want it. So you don't need that top little nozzly thing anymore. I control it with the air control. This is also temporary, but you can see it's collecting some schemate down there. And this is only with live rock in the tank. I have a few pieces of live rock in there and it's removing it. I put this in here. I noticed it was collecting some larger pieces. So what the skimmer misses, this will pick up. This is just temporary. I'm just experimenting to see how much this will collect. Just enough so the overflow here has to go through the filter floss and the pad. The pad really merely just holds the floss up. It's in there real tight. I'm gonna to try to keep this real clean this time around. I'm going to do an external refugium. So this is gonna be this way for now, and I'm gonna see how much that collects that way. And that's all you need. There it is. Sleek.